Welcome everybody to Catfish Weekly's Father Day Gift Review and Giveaway Show. Along with the doctor, Tim Lang and Cindy Stokes, I'm Lyle, and welcome to the Catfish Weekly. Doc, we got a big one tonight. We had a great weekend over the weekend. I know that you did, and it should be a blast. Yes, I did. And for once, the Ohio weather is very favorable tonight. As you can see, I'm sitting <laughs> here on my front porch. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of jealous of that. Luke, there's Luke. He, he's sitting in the front yard. He's Way cool. Man and everything. Uh, I mowed the yard today, so he, he's loving it. So, <laughs> That's awesome, know, man. And then when it starts getting dark, I'll move into the house. So Okay, well, you got the, the device to do it with. Um, here you go. No, you tell it, Mom. Cindy won her pipe and ice cream, and they happened to have a guy at the store that was a lot taller than either one of us was, so they let her use him. To stack up 18 half gallons of ice cream, Doc. Now, I, oh, all I natural, eat, too. Yeah, I will eat uh, a couple of these in your honor. I tested a one out today that I'd never heard of before, and it was really, really good. Um, so her picture will be in the paper, and it's all over Facebook. And um, I get the benefit out of it. Hell, I can't beat a deal like that, man. It's awesome. Yeah. Your belly will get the benefit out of it, too. Oh, I'm quite sure you're right about that. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. We was in Quincy, Illinois over the weekend at Fishing for Freedom Quincy. And even though the Mississippi River was out of control and Mark Twain Lake was over 20 feet high, they still put on a great show over there. That is the single greatest event that I have ever been to in the sport of catfishing. And you know as well as I do, we go to a lot of events around the country. And some, of them, some of them are awesome. A lot of them are very awesome. But until you've been to Fishing for Freedom, Quincy, it's there's just nothing like it. And uh, we had a great warrior with us. Uh, Tommy Garrett was super duper. Uh, we got to spend quite a bit of time with Mindy and Cody this weekend, and man, they're they're such great folks. And that that place is was packed Saturday night, and uh, we had a wonderful time. And I, I have to tell you that uh, uh, I can't wait till next year. But the highlight of the event was sitting. I got to fish Saturday morning with 92 year old gentleman that uh, retired from the Navy. And oh wow. It was absolutely a blast. Arnie was such a super nice guy. And we caught four fish in his house, won the trophy. Uh, they caught um, 40, 47 or 48 fish. And out of that, uh, he got to catch four of those. So they get to take the traveling trophy to their house. And um, I maybe it was 27. I pushed him all the way to the back of that housing unit in his wheelchair pushed him inside and him and his wife lived together and we I visited with him for quite a little while. Cindy was getting worried about me, but he showed me all his awards that he had got from the military and paintings that people had made for him. And, and just, uh, I can't tell you what that means to me. And uh, I will be thrilled to be able to get to go up there and Cindy and I take another veteran out next year for the same deal. It was Good really cool. Yeah, it, it was, it was. And, I have to thank Quentin Robbins for that because all the years we've been going up there, I did not know that they'd done that on Saturday mornings. This is the only second year. Okay, second year they done it. Well, I didn't know anything about it the first year, but we won't miss it again. And uh, again, Randall and Mindy and Jim and all the people that's involved with Fishing for Freedom, hats off to you as another great event. Next year, surely we won't have the flooding that we have now. And speaking of flooding, for those of you that didn't see it, uh, Coast Guard has now closed the Missouri River from the west side of Missouri, from Kansas City all the way to St. Louis. So we're not done with this yet, folks, but it is getting better. It's got to get better. Mindy just posted on there. He's not going to mention that he won Volunteer of the Year award. We did win Volunteer of the Year. I, I was so humbled. And um, when they announced that, um, I looked at Cindy. I mean, 
they was talking about people that had been there for six years and all the stuff. And I really didn't have any idea that they was talking about Cindy and I. We never expected anything from doing the things we do. We, I, I don't feel we do that much uh, compared to what other people have done to put this program on. But here it is, folks. That is the single most thing in the world other than my wife and family that I am so proud of. Uh, I know that Cindy is too. We, we shared that moment. And in all the things that we've done over the years, that that's something that they really, really caught us off guard with. Uh, I didn't have an idea, no. and you didn't either. And uh, It means the world to us. It will go along with our trophies and, and plaques that we have. Uh, and it'll be center center spot because it, it just means so much to us. But, um, you know, we, we do very little to give back uh, compared to what the heroes that attend that stuff does. And the volunteers from the Quincy area that puts that program on, uh, they do such a great job. And we're so proud to be a part of it. Uh, and the fact that they thought that we had done something that, that they could honor us with was just over the top. Yeah, it really was. How was your weekend fishing tournaments? Uh, as far as fishing the tournament, we didn't do so good, but we had a great time uh, making memories. I had the twins on board the boat. Uh, and when we launched, it, oh, man, the fog was thick. And um, I always hate fishing in the fog uh, just for the fact that I know that somewhere out there is a barge. Yeah. Well, we started up river and I told the kids, I said, well, I'm going to go to a spot and we're just going to anchor down here and uh, wait till this fog burns up. And not more than a hundred yards above the boat was a barge that was butted into the bank. Oh, man. So, you know, uh, somebody was watching out for us. I heard a couple guys hollering barge, barge. And I, at first I thought it was out in the middle of the river. And, uh, but it, it was pretty thick. Uh, we caught two fish right off the get go and that was it the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, wow. There, so, we, you know, we all have times like that. It doesn't make it, make it any less fun, but, um, you know, it, it was a, it's a great time to get out on the water. You got the fish. Yeah. Done, so. It was a bad day for everybody because Justin Brown and Browning won it with like 52 pounds. And big, big fish was like 23 pounds. It was crazy, but. I seen Josh Vanover had a tournament down in his area, and and the weights were almost identical to what we had up there. So, wow, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know why the fish shut down, but well, you know, I, we had a good time. That's as long as you had a good time, and you had a great day today. Oh yeah, yeah, I had a good day with my uh, grandson Greg. Uh, caught seven fish, and he started getting pretty hot, and then he said, "Let's go in." I said, "Okay." So. You know, I, I put him on seven fish. Uh, one was a 10 pound channel. Uh, they're not starting to spawn here yet. Uh, the water temperature is still only 70 degrees on the lake. So, but we, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of trash. I think there's, the trash is still left over from where the tornadoes went ripping through this area last week. Yeah. Yeah. So now, hopefully everybody was safe from the tornadoes and as many as possible from the flooding conditions. I, you know, one more thing about fishing for freedom. Um, Carl Wells drove up from Texas, and it was really cool to sit at the table with him during that meeting and his partner, Jeremy Beecham. Um, both military guys, we had a wonderful visit with them, and Carl driving all that far was really cool. Can I, how about if I pull it over here like that? Will that help? I hope it is. Hope it does. Uh, I was trying to type around a while ago and I had to move it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, those two was a hoot sitting there with, and it was a pleasure eating dinner with them and being at the meeting with them. Uh, they was really cool. Uh, last year we got to set with a world war one vet. That was very special. It seems like everything we go do, uh, something special happens. Uh, I hope that continues because that, that event is so important, and believe me, folks, we're not going to slack up on it. Uh, we are going to continue to talk about fishing for freedom throughout this year and for years to come. So 
uh, until every one of you get a chance to go up there and be a part of that. That is still low. Keep going. Still low. I mean, Hopefully, I can make it next year because I really enjoyed that. Hey, is that any better? We'll try another setting on Jeff. Doc, are you having trouble hearing me? No, I never have trouble hearing you. Okay. <laughs> well, they're saying it's it's too low, but there's there's no adjustment on this. Uh, let me tr let me try my uh, connection. Maybe it's the uh, port on the back of my Someone had just said it's a little better, so it might took them a minute to. All right. See, how are we doing now, guys? Hopefully that's, that's a little bit better. I'll put the setting back where it was at. I might have a bad plug where it plugs into the back of my computer. We're too loud. <laughs> it's going to be one of them nights, Doc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll deal with it. That's all right. All right. All good. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Chanel Klein. We had a great visit with her, her and her family over there. Um, they was at the um, at the pond where we took the veterans out. What a great family of fisher people they are. Uh, her and her son, her husband, and her daughter. They're great people. It was also at the chick pipe tournament. So we was real thrilled that they made it over. And we got to visit with those guys a little bit. Roger DeBent says, we all have a volume button. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Doc, we've got a bunch of stuff to give away tonight. It, um, we received stuff down there, and we forgot stuff down there. Uh, or over there, up there at Quincy. So uh, some of the stuff um, that we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to give away, and people will have to understand how it's going to work out. And uh, We're going to try to get um, Jerry Ishcomer in here. I'm going to send them a link right now uh, and see if we can get in here because he has got a, he is familiar with one of the products, a rod that we're going to give away. And we're going to see if we can get Jerry in here to tell us about those because I don't know that much about Hypercat rods. And one of our viewers has donated that to be given away tonight. And um, would you like to spin the wheel? It's 714 before he gets in there. You'll wait one there. moment. Okay. I would like to tell everybody that Nate Davis brought me Demon Dragons down there. We've seen them at the meeting uh, Saturday, Friday night. Saturday night? Friday and Saturday. Night. Okay, yeah. And he has donated 10 packs of Demon Dragons. I believe they're two to a pack. And a 10 pack of sinkers. And 10 packs of sinkers. Now, the issue is we was to get together and get those. And with all the stuff going on, we did not get together. But he is sending those to me. So as soon as they get here, we will send those out. They will be mixed uh, no particular order or brand of what kind they are. So uh, just be aware that it'll be a few days before we get those out. And just as a reminder, our great sponsor, Rig Wrap, Glenn has got the value pack on sale for Father's Day, regularly $24.99 on sale for $19.99. So if you don't win a pack tonight and you want to get those for a Father's Day present, no, that's a value pack. You just said value pack. Value pack. <laughs> this here. Value pack. Uh, go to rigwrap.com and order yourself some inexpensive, great product. There you go. Love them. You know, they there's Jerry. How you doing, Jerry? How you doing? We're wonderful. We want to give away a Hypercat rod that was donated to Catfish Weekly for our show tonight by Stephen Beer. Um, I will tell you that it is a, uh, let me find it here, seven foot six Hypercat rod casting rod. And since you use wow. that product, I thought it'd be awesome if you would uh, tell us about it. Are you there? Jerry? 
He's in Carlisle Lake, Illinois, and we have a bad internet connection. Can you hear me, Jerry? Yes, sir. Um, it's a seven foot six uh, hypercat rod. Can you tell us about that? Yes, sir. There, I bought six of them last year. <coughs> When I was down there in Carthersville, Missouri. Yeah, I've got six of them. I really like them. I've seen some of the fish you catch on them, so they must be pretty good quality. Um, I think Pete, anybody that wins this will be happy with it, and they can contact Stephen once the show is over if they win it, and he will ship it to them. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. There must be a terrible delay. With I got the, the heavy action. You have the heavy action? Okay. Well, these are, uh, I believe this is a medium heavy. Um, they do make a medium heavy. Right. But uh, I have the, I have the uh, heavy action, but man, I like them. Okay. That's awesome. Listen, thank you, Jerry, for helping us out with this. We're going to give that hypercat rod away right now. We got a big delay, Doc. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jerry. We appreciate you coming on the show and helping us out. Thank you. So, Doc. Okay, thank you, right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Have you got everybody in chat pulled up, Doc? Yes, I do. We have way over 100 tonight in chat right now, and you're going to be uploading that at different times for us several times tonight, but we'll make sure everybody gets a chance. Yeah, so they're in and out in That's case right. they go in and out and stuff like that. That is correct. Who is the big winner? And the winner, winner, yeah. <laughs> winner is Randy McKinney, M C K I N N E Y. Randy McKinney. Congratulations, Randy. You are the first winner of tonight's show. Contact Stephen here. He is on Facebook. If you have problems getting a hold of him or you're not friends with him on Facebook, send me a message after the show and I will put you in contact with him. Stephen Hare, you watch our show every week. Thank you so much for donating a brand new rod to Catfish Weekly's giveaway. We appreciate it so much. You're a great guy and we appreciate everything you do watching our show. In the meantime, Cindy. What do you say we spend the old rig rat prize? That'll work. Pick me out a number. Two. One. Make it easy on me. Thank you. <laughs> Two. Well, I know what Doc's going to do. There's another viewer that watches every week that is a winner this time. It is Chrissy Brown. Fish Life Products. Chrissy, if you'll contact Jody or Christy at Fish Life Pro what? what? The bounce. Okay. Contact me, Chrissy. I have got you some easy sinker slice from our great sponsor, Rig Rat. And I will send them out. I don't know how it bounced off of one it into another, back, yeah. but it went back. And easy sinker slides it is. You're going to love them if you're not using them yet. Right here is what they look like. They have a slot in the back where you can take them on and off with an extra big clip and you don't have to cut your line. Great product from Rig Wrap. Thank you, Glenn, so much. And I will send those out to you. Cliff Miller, you're going to get me in trouble. What did Cliff say? He said, hey, Sonny Parker. Wild wants me to tell you how good my roll tuner rolls are. <laughs> Doc, Cindy took a couple of pans of cinnamon rolls up there and give one Ooh. pan to Mindy and give one pan to Cliff Miller. And I'm not sure either one of them shared them, but you know, I had one when it came out of the oven, it was a mini. I didn't get any more of them than that, even on the trip up there or while they was in the motel room. And I am extremely disappointed that, um, but hey, you got to deal with her on that, not me. It is what it is. It is. I have right now two packages of green 
lightning bugs. They was overnighted to us, so they'd be here on time, and we can't thank those guys enough. Thanks, J.R. Bird, for helping get that out. We're going to give both of these away to one winner. Have you used these products, Doc? Yes, I have. Well, why don't you tell us a little about them? The only thing I've done with them is light them up, and, man, they're really bright. Yeah, they're real bright, uh, and, and you can do a lot with them. You know, they've got that sleeve that can go down over the pole. Um, I've used them on my uh, planer boards. So, uh, you know, real, there's all kinds of uses that you can use them for. Real, real nice uh, setup, too. That's awesome. We're going to give one package away to one winner and one package away to the second winner. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Now, by the way, there is eight in each package. Eight? Eight in each package. Wow. You see them here? These are big packages of lightning bugs. That'll fix people up when they're fishing at night for a long time. And they're like Doc said, there's a lot of other things used for, and they're extremely bright. Yeah, and they seem to last quite a while, too. A long time. You know, I, I just take the batteries, you know, you undo the batteries on it, right. and then you're okay. Uh, the first winner is Michael Malott, M-A-L-O-T-T, -T, Michael Malott. Thanks for watching Catfish Week, Michael. We appreciate it. Enjoy your lightning bugs. It's and the second winner is Rob Ellis. E L L I S, Rob Ellis. You are the second winner. Rob is a super nice guy. I know him for quite a while. Both of you guys send us your shipping information after the show. You can message us on our Facebook page or you can send it to Catfish Weekly TV at gmail.com. Either way, and we will get those shipped out to you. What do you say we give away a package? of demon dragons and a, and a package of weights. We'll give away a package of demon dragons and a package of weight, and we're going to do that 10 times tonight throughout the show. Ooh. No, there's 10 packages. Okay. And 10 packages of weight. We'll send each each winner a package of demon dragons and a package of weights. We can do all 10 okay. No, we're going to do one now. We'll... We'll do nine more throughout the show. You ready? We're ready. And the winner is Jason DeRoshi, D-E-R-O-C-H-I-E. -E. Congratulations, Jason. Demon Dragons are one of the great rattle products that also floats your bait up off of the box. They work extremely well. We've used them for a long time. Doc's been using them. They last a long time, although I've, Doc has told me about fish that hit his so hard, they, they tear them up. I have not had that issue. There's several ways to rig these things. And, of course, who doesn't need weights? So right. sinkers are sinkers, and anytime you can get them, it's a, it's a plus. So they're going to be awesome. Well, congratulations. See, look at that. Man, he's out there protecting me. He is having a time. You know, Doc, for a long time, we've had one of the great sponsors in the business, uh, Glenn with Rig Rack, and he sent us quite a few products for this show. And one of the basic things that you get from Rig Rack is these. The orange rig wrap cases where you can put your sinker and your entire fishing rig, hook, line, sinker, uh, swivel, everything all into one. It's real easy to get out. If they get nasty and dirty or uh, something happens to them in a boat, you can rinse them out, let them dry. All of it dries out and they'll go back right back in your rig wrap case. And if you don't have a rig wrap case, you can put them in your bag or, or however you carry them around. These hold virtually anything that we use in the sport of catfish. Uh, I can't think of a better thing to give away than a four pack of rig wrap oranges. All right. Uh, I keep uh, 
redoing this because there's so many people in the chat. Right. And the winner is John Spear, S P E E R. You are the winner of the Rig Rat Pack. Congratulations, John. We appreciate you watching the show and uh, being a part of it. And we can't thank Glenn enough for everything he does. He does so much for us and he does so much for everyone in the sport of catfish. And Jason, the email address is catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. I should have. Okay, yep, just write their name on them. That'd be great. Hey, Paul Bird. Got to see Dennis Mayo this weekend. It's always a pleasure to visit with Dennis. Catfish Bill 66, Bottom Fisher, Bottom Feeder Fishing Club uh, is in the house. We're going to be having those guys. Nick Jones will be on the show with us. They got something special coming up, and we're going to try to help them out in the next week or two, probably next week. So I have to get with Nick and see if we can get them on here. Great bunch of guys from out east. Do wonderful things for a lot of people. We appreciate everything. That they do for everybody. I need something else. Let's give away a BM rod. We have right here in my hot little hand a BM medium heavy catfish rod. Two piece. I'm trying to find some. Of here we go. I don't want to take them out of the package. It, It's a medium two-piece. It's got a thick rod. It doesn't say on that. Seven-foot casting two-piece. I'm pretty sure someone would like to have that. These are great rods for people uh, fishing for all kinds of fish. They're light enough you can catch catfish or a channel cat on them, and they're heavy enough that if you get a bigger blue or flathead on them, you still be able to get them in. Really a good product from our great sponsor, B and M. So Doc, who is the lucky winner? And the winner is Bank Pole Joe. Bank Pole Bank Joe. Pole Joe, you are the winner. Thank you so much for watching Catfish Weekly. Like I say, you can message us on Facebook after the show with your shipping address, or you can email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Man, it's going so fast, but I seen Chad Wall in the house and Trisha Moeller, Hillbilly Jim, Fat Boy Dan, Brandon Refro, Chris Workman, my old buddy. How's those Cubs? What do you think about them Cardinals, Chris Workman? We're so proud of them guys. I know you all are just loving that sweep of the Cubs over the weekend. They brought the brooms out, didn't they? They did. You know, and, and the year that I've had. I probably shouldn't be saying that because the Cardinals aren't just doing really, really well. But when I get a chance to get on Chris and uh, Mr. Daniel Kennedy and Joe Lucky and some of those guys, um, I got to rub it in a little bit because they've been on me like a bad habit all year. Yeah. <laughs> we have a very nice shirt and net gator from King Kraken. You can see it here. It is absolutely beautiful. I've had this for a while. Does this, go with it? this does go with it. It's a beautiful. I consider it's a that neck gator. A, it's a neck gator. You put it over your face and it, it covers your neck and all that stuff. We use these a lot in the sunshine. Yeah. I, use them, uh, I use those in the wintertime also when I'm out walking the dog and it's really, really cold. They'll keep you from breathing in a lot of cold air, which makes me sick sometimes. So it's, it's a really good match set. And yes, Joe Kirby, they are awesome. And Doc, pick us out a winner. Scotty Hill, A.K. Catfish and Freak. Yeah. Scotty Hill, thank you for being watching our show tonight, being in chat. You're gonna love this shirt, Net Gator. It is really awesome. 
David Funk, we cannot thank you enough for everything you do for us. It is an honor to give those products away. They're absolutely knockout gorgeous, and I'm sure Scotty will enjoy it very much. And Scotty, you can contact us through our Facebook page at Catfish Weekly and message us with your shipping address, or again, email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. And some guy asked, where do you buy those? You can contact David Funk. David is the great donator of these products uh, from King Kraken. And uh, we talked about this and back and forth. And we got some more stuff with David coming up. So don't run off till the end of the show. We'll tell you about an upcoming event that we are going to be having. David Funk is senile, but he's a good guy. <laughs> <coughs> Doc, you've had the pleasure of spending some time uh, in a house with David Funk, as I remember. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time. Uh, there was like five or six of us in the house. Oh, he's a blast. We had an absolute blast. Uh, one of the guys that donated, Denny Iberg, with uh, bare planer boards, uh, had great guy, to, great fisherman, great guy. Man, he built some good boards. Well, you know what? Since you brought that up and you know about those planer boards, Cindy hand me one of those. Denny Iberg sent us a set of bare planer boards. And Doc, tell us about these. Okay, um, Denny manufactures these. Uh, he sent me a set of them. Even though I'm sponsored by um, Offshore Tackle, um, and Offshore Tackle, you know, great boards. But Denny's boards kind of excel when you're when you have speeds of less than a half a mile an hour. Um, they just they just man, it's just unreal how how quick they get out to the side. So um, and I like using those when uh, you know I run the the offshores on the inside and then I run Denny's on the outside. Uh, outstanding board. They they break off real quick. And uh, go right back, and you, you know you don't have a whole lot to deal with on the fish. You know, uh, I caught a 71 pound blue on in on Wheeler Lake on one of them, and uh, he he just drilled that planer board down. I mean, it was gone. Nice so, clips on these to hold your yeah. line, and an easy snap on the back to release your line as it takes it off to the side. Do you? It'll break loose here. You don't have to fight the fish in the board. It'll just slide back to where the fish is at as you reel it in. Great product. Denny, thank you so much. We're going to give a set of these away to one lucky winner. And that winner is Melanie Green. Melanie Green, congratulations. Melanie is another lady that watches our show every week, Doc. I see her in chat every week. Yeah, she's here in Ohio. I know them real well. You do. You guys, when you've done the tournament for Bink, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they helped us. Great deal. So thank you, Melanie, for watching our show. We appreciate it. Can't think of anybody I'd rather see get these boards, and you're going to love them. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of Doc. He knows all about them, but they're great. And, uh, again, send me your, your information either through our Facebook page or email me at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. And congratulations on the win. You know what? We're behind, Doc. Yeah. Cindy? You're <laughs> yeah, Cindy. <laughs> pick me out a number. Well, since you didn't ask Doc, I'll make it five. I hey, say. five. <laughs> five it is. One. <laughs> he bypassed you, Two. Doc. Three. He tried to. <laughs> Four. Five. The winner is Richard Ward. Richard's another guy that watches our show very religiously. We can't thank him enough for watching Catfish Weekly. So Richard's going to win by. Fish life, you it win. Stayed it stayed there this time. It. 
Richard, Richard contact us. Contact Jody and Chrissy Harris with Fish Life Products. They will hook you up with some of their great products. Um, they have some wonderful stuff from, from first aid for fish to uh, uh, a cleaner that will clean your live well, like, live well out and make it shine like brand new and a lot of other products. You get a hold of Jody and Christy and they will hook you up with a great product from Fish Life. They told Joe, tell him how to contact you. He wanted to be an info. Just uh, message me at, on our Facebook page or send me an email at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. That's where it'll all be done tonight unless it's a sponsor that ships products. And if it is, then I will give you the information and tell you how to get a hold of those guys. Let's get the show. He's moved up closer. Yes, he did. But he's still, he's still chilling it out out there. That's cool, man. I know he's loving being out, outside. For those of you that, that use the Demon Dragon products, a lot of you have been asking for these. They're big reds. Uh, there's room for everything in here. The biggest Demon Dragon, your line, your hook, your sinker, your swivels, whatever else you want. And to go along with this, we have a lure locker four that we're going to make a package deal with to one lucky winner. Doc, who is that lucky winner? And the winner is Mike Greenwell. All right, Mike, another guy that watches our show very often. We see you've been chatting a lot. Thank you so much, Mike. You're going to love these lure lockers. These four compartment lure lockers do an excellent job of holding especially well. The, the original Demon Dragons and products of that kind of that size, whether it be floats or other products, they fit right in there. Then you can wrap your line and stuff around here. Put your sinker and your hook right in there, and you're good to go. Like I say, these are all their products are designed with holes in them. So if you're saltwater fishing or they get dirty or something, you can rinse them out and all the water just shake it out and it'll all run right out. Great products. Man, we can't get over how great rig wraps are, Doc. You and I have been using these babies for a long time. And yep. look at this. For guys using big ones, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. I think these was originally designed, I believe Glenn told me, for offshore products when guys was using lures and stuff. You could store them in there. But, man, for the catfish industry, they are awesome. Peter Melhorn says he needs to win some demon dragons. Will you hand on? Hang on, Dieter. We got some more we're going to give away. That's kind of your department, isn't it? But I'll do my best. For some time, we've been lucky enough or fortunate enough uh, we've been dealing with a company called the Mud Bum Supply Shack. They have donated a lot. Get out of here, did you? She's been in the boat with us for three or four days, Doc. She was such a good girl. We appreciate her behaving this weekend. We have a 2X Mud Bum shirt. They sent us two shirts. We're going to give one of them away right now. The Mud Bum guys are awesome. They put on a great TV show. But if you need products, the Mud Bum Supply Shack has everything from camping and fishing gear. They even rent stuff if you don't have it. You get both away. A what? Are you giving them both away? No, one away. Okay, the two X. The two X. And the winner is Travis Davis. Travis Davis. Travis, this is another product. Thank you so much for watching Catfish Weekly, but this is one of the products. But you will need to send us your information, either through Facebook or send me a message to catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Mud Bums. Man, a great bunch of guys. If you'd ever get a chance to meet them, they're super guys to visit with. Cindy and I have had the opportunity, and Doc has too, to visit with them with Mississippi River Monsters and other places that we've been. We was fortunate enough to do a show with them up there at their at the Mud Bum Supply Shack at their grand opening. It was an experience I'll never forget. They are a super nice bunch of guys and have wonderful products. So be sure to visit the Mud Bum Supply Shack at mudbums.com. All right.
I'm trying to keep an eye on the thing. We'll give one more away. There we go. We was talking about the easy sinker slides a while ago, Doc. I know you use these and I use them. We don't always. Here's, here's how they come, folks. Right here, like this. I don't always need a sinker slide. Sometimes I change things out. And with these, you don't have to cut your line. You can push your, your make a loop, push it through here, and clip it over each end like that, and snap it down in position. It has a big number seven hook uh, snap on the end of it. You can hook your weight there. And if you want to take it off, say you want to bump and you want to put something else on there, these come off as easy as they go on. We have yet to have one break. We've been using, using them since he come out with them. Love the product. The only thing that you need to do is just put you a, uh, a bead on this before it gets down to your knot. You're good make sure it. it's in the upper portion of it. That's right. Make sure you snap it up into the top groove. It'll go in the bottom one here, and then you snap it up into the top. It will stay there. It'll work. Oh, man, they work so good. Doc, I, I'm telling you, these things are awesome. And what we're going to give away now is we're going to give away a package of easy sinker slides and one of Glenn's threader tools. And this is something that, that I'm not sure how long that they're going to have. But this thing, it does several different operations. Uh, it threads uh, products. It sharpens knives. It cuts line. And it stores so easily. And in the bottom of it, there's a place where you can store different things. And it, it's, it's a really cool little deal. I use mine all the time. This is what I sharpen uh, my boards or knives that we use to cut up bait with in the boat. They work extremely well. And we're going to give both of these away to one lucky winner. And the winner is Louise Lawson. Louise Lawson. Cindy had to step out the other room for that. L A W S O N. Yes. I'm writing this down. All right. I think we should be back here in just a minute to get that taken care of. It'll keep me from having to do that. You know what time it is, Doc? Uh, yep. Yeah, your time, my time, it's 8.45. Your time, it's 7.45. It is correct, but it's time to spend the old Rig Rat prize wheel. All right. Let's go with number one. Oh, man. I can't believe you did that. I know. Hey, I'd be nice. <laughs> Father's Day show. I'm going to be nice. Oh, that's awesome. We appreciate it so much. And the winner is, I want to tell you a story, Doc. I got a message this morning that Melinda Folsom signed her husband up. And I can't that. Louise Lawson. You know what? I'm, I was doing your job. I, <laughs> Brian Folsom is the winner of this rig wrap prize wheel spin. Oh, I we haven't spun it yet. We was waiting on you, kind of. I knew this would be a long show, but we're gonna have a good time. Jeez, we're going to get in Glenn's pocket tonight. Easy sinker slide. Brian, if you'll contact me or Melinda, I, I'm sure you'll be doing it for him. And send me your shipping address. We will send you a package of easy, easy sinker slides from a great sponsor, Glenn at Rick Rap. Thanks so much for being a part of the Rick Rap Prize World Game. And Glenn, thank you for everything you do for us. If, if, you, if you guys need some more of us, you will ever possibly know. And speaking of Glenn, while we're on a roll, let's give away something else from Red Rat. I know, Glenn. I know. But when you're independently wealthy like that, you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is one that 
if I was going to win something on a show tonight, this is what I would want to win. It's a package of rig wrap oranges that we've already talked about. And one of the greatest products a cat fisherman could ever have, especially if he uses braided line. Yep. Ceramax scissors. Doc, is there anything that you've ever seen that's any better for cutting a line and stuff than these are? Yep, they're great. They are. And Dieter Melhorn, who is in the chat tonight, can attest they will chop off a fin if it sticks in your hands. Has that happened to Dieter? And he used his to cut the fin out so he could get to the doctor and get fixed up. So they're a multi-use tool. What's that? Easy sink. That's what I had underneath there, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to put. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. So, Doc, who is the the winner of the Ceramax scissors and the brick wrap horns? Stephen Hare. Stephen Hare, the guy that donated the rod to us. Stephen, thank you so much again for the donation of the rod. And you, in return, will receive a pair of Ceramax scissors, scissors and a package of orange rig wrap cases and i know you've already had some but you're still going to love these because they're awesome and you always need more and you always need more oranges that way you can have stuff stocked up at home and just switch them out in the rig wrap fix the case the way to go Stephen. we appreciate you watching the show you're such a great viewer to donate a new rod to our giveaway and we we will not soon forget that mindy thank you so much for everything you do for Fishing for Freedom. I, I have to say, I believe that you are the backbone of that event. You've done so much. And I enjoyed our dinner and time we had. And I know you and Cindy have been kind of on me, but I'm going to continue to eat that ice cream. See you soon. What you say? All right. How about we do the other Mud Bums t-shirt, huh? All right. This one is a medium. And here's the back. And here's the front. One of their sponsored anglers, Brian Saunders, which is a really good friend of mine, happened to win the event over at Mark Twain Lake in the Catfish Division. So congratulations to Brian. Way to represent. What's that? It was nice. There was nice fish. He had 60 pounds, 65 pounds on, on Mark Twain Lake in some extremely, extremely tough conditions. So the winner is James Dockery. James Dockery. Now, Doc, James and his wife Katie and their little girl Joey drove down through all the ravished floodwaters to Mark Twain Lake to see Cindy and I at the weigh-in over there. What a great bunch of people they are. Uh, James and Katie are just wonderful. They have the most polite and courteous little young daughter that you ever want to be around. They are outstanding people. I think the world of them, from what we knew online, but after oh, in person, there's nothing like them. I mean, they're just outstanding. I'm going to move inside, Lyle. Okay, Doc, we'll wait till you get there. We can, but Cindy, would you agree? Peters are starting to hit. Oh, dang, you don't want that. James and Katie are. And yes, they are. they are. And he's short. He likes to say he's <laughs> short. He is not much taller than me. Ain't that right, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> they they was a blast to be with, and we give Katie a lot of trouble about being short, but, I, you know, I can't wait to see the video of her in a kayak. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be a blast. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. We sure did. It was really, really, really fun. Uh, but yeah, Brian Saunders put it on us over there. Uh, great cat fisherman. Had a great veteran with him. They had an absolute blast. Uh, was so thrilled that that uh, that Brian won that. He, he's just a super nice guy. And, and uh, we had a blast seeing him. We always do, though. But Brian's just a super guy. There, she does not need any encouragement, you guys. She'll be on James from now on after winning that ice cream, I promise. How's it going now, Doc? Well, I'm 
I'm putting down my cover. I got to turn the lights off. This thing's got LED lights on it. So. I do, uh, Keith, I have a ton of ice cream to eat. Um, your warrior did all the heavy lifting. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Doc is high tech. Uh, Cliff, he really is. He's got all the cool stuff going on. Who in the world has an umbrella with lights on besides Doc Light? <laughs> <laughs> and for you that don't know, I, Doc and I have known each other for years and years on line, and we've become good friends that way. But I thought, I've always thought the winner in life was the guy that passed that had the most toys. And for years, Doc had so many toys. I thought he would not only caught me with the amount of toys he had, but he had passed me. Uh, being in the automotive business for years and years and years, when new products come out to be competitive, you had to buy them. So I always had a bunch of cool toys, but Doc had the fishing toys. So now I'm going to know if you're charging to buy the rain. It did, Sean. Thank you so much. Sean was good enough to loan me his cord to charge up my battery to keep my uh, live bait alive. Uh, in our live well, and uh, as always, the DMT custom live well kept my bluegills alive the whole time, but it was running low on battery, and uh, thank you so much for the loan of your extension cord, because plug-ins, and it was not close, and uh, there wasn't a bunch well, of We forgot the demon dragons. We got 10 packages of them. Wait, what do you say? We'll give away another package. All right, hang on, man. This will be a package of demon dragons and weights, but hang tight because they will, they are being shipped to me. Okay, the winner is Eric Deary, D E E D E D E B D double E R Y. Congratulations, Eric. Say that again. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Eric, you can contact us on our Facebook page. Just message me there or send me an email at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Man, there it goes. I can't keep it. It's just screaming by, Doc. I can't keep up with it. Yeah, I'm staying up with it. You know, I keep... I keep loading it up, you know, I keep grabbing names because every you know, there's uh, 128 people in there right now. Twerking Monkey, eight eight K A Pops is a couple of the guys that we met down at the Catfish Conference. They do some awesome videos on TV. If you ever get a chance, check them out. Jeff Manning, Reel on the Blues. Thank you for joining the show tonight. We appreciate seeing all you guys in there. PD Fishing's in there. I, I, we're going to fast and chat that I just catch a few of you every once in a while. But while we're at it, Doc, we have some bite lights. We have two packages of bite lights. These have two different deals where you can clip them on your fishing rods, depending on whether they're big around at the tip or not as big around at the tip. They flash red and green. Uh, I mean, make sure I get this white right. They flash red. Uh, a slow flash until you get a bite, and then they blink really fast green when you get a bite. For night fishing, this is an outstanding product. Glenn, come up with these. They work excellent. We've had a chance to use these a couple times, and we really like them. And he wanted to throw in a threader tool with this package also. So, Doc, we're ready for a winner. And the winner is Peyton Winterbottom. Peyton Winterbottom, W-I-N-T-E-R-B-O-B-O-T-T-O-M. Peyton Winterbottom. Congratulations, Peyton. You're going to get some products, and if you night fish, you're going to love. These are really cool. You'll get two of the bite lights and one threader tool with the knife sharpener on it. Glenn, as always, thank you so much for everything you do. I love my threader tool. I use it to sharpen the knives that we cut bait with. But it's fast. You can knock them out really quick. Works really well. And the bite lights speak for themselves. Um, once you use those, you just turn them on and set the sensitivity by tightening down uh, the thing on the top. And they really, really work good. You'll enjoy them very much. What do you say we do another? Uh, 
Okay. Now, what do you want? I was going to, let's do another uh, rig wrap. Okay. No, no. I, I said rig wrap. What I meant to say was demon dragon okay. package. It's a busy night. It's been a long week, Doc. I know. <laughs> You know, it's been me trying to keep up with the chat and all that. Hey, there's Rhonda Iberg and Jim Butts and Patriot James from Patriot Catfishing of America. Cliff Miller said his warrior caught an 11 and a half pound channel cat. That's this a giant. Minutes into fishing Saturday. That's a giant channel cat. Those, those are so much fun to catch. They fight so hard. Doc? No, we got to find out who won. Oh, okay. Who in the winner is? Chris Workman. Awesome. Chris Workman, my good buddy Chris. He is such a fine guy. Cubs fan and all. His dad was one of the greatest friends that a man could ever have. We miss Ron every day, but but Chris has stepped up his game. <laughs> so I have somebody to play with on Facebook about the Cubs and the Cardinals, and I love Chris like a brother, more like a son. He's about the age of my kids, and every time I see him, it's a party. And I'm looking forward to him and I get to fish together very, very soon. So, Chris, you know how to get a hold of Tim Owensby. Looky here. Welcome to Catfish Weekly, Tim. Uh, Chris, you know how to get a hold of me. You can email me at Catfish Weekly TV or message us on our Facebook page at Catfish Weekly. Give me your address, my friend, and we will hook you up with some stuff you want. And in the meantime, Doc. Brian said his guy broke his personal test three times. That's awesome, man. Good job, Brian. I hope I lost something here. Let me get it back up. Doc, we have a second B&M rod to give away. All righty. This is a silver cap magnum. Two-piece. It is a medium. I'm trying to find out what year it is. It is. I'm not used to looking on these to find out. I'm trying not to take them out of the package, but they're really hard to read through the through the package. It's, it's a. They are on. Oh, it's your <laughs> Seven foot two piece medium. Spinning rod. Spinning rod. Right here it is. Like I say, the brand new in the package. And we're going to ship this out to USA Catfishing. USA Catfishing. Thank you so much for watching Catfish Weekly. We appreciate you being in our chat tonight. We're going to ship you out this rod. All you have to do is send us your shipping address to our YouTube or our Facebook page or to catfishweeklytv at gmail.com and BNM, thank you so much for everything you've done you've been a great you're a great sponsor to our show we have given away so much stuff from you and we really appreciate everything you do for us time to spin the wheel huh? <laughs> well you know what i'm ready to go pick me out another number doc uh two one two and the winner is Dan Carr, C A R R. You've been real again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might last a little longer tonight. Wow, I didn't know that thing had turned that many times, Doc. <laughs> you don't like to energize your money. Long as smoke don't start coming off of it. Yeah, no kidding. Bass and more. Dan, you will, if you would contact Jim Sheila or Brandon at Bass and Moore at Owensville, Kentucky, and tell them that you want a prize on Catfish Weekly, they will hook you up with a gift certificate from their store. 
thank you so much for watching Catfish Weekly and being part of the Rig Wrap Prize Wheel Game. And the good folks at Bass and More, thank you all so much for being a sponsor to our show. We've been affiliated with you doing live shows and cookouts from Bass and More for what, Doc, five, six years? Uh, yeah, something like that. Before you was involved with the show, uh, yeah. Chris and uh, uh, Chuck and I done a show down there, and, and Chuck and I done a show down there, and you and I have done how many together? Three. Three, yeah. And uh, the last few years we've been doing cookouts, and Brandon's cooked up hamburgers and hot dogs, and we've had shows running down there, and it's a great fun, and we have we get mate down there and do all kinds of stuff. They're a great bunch group of people, and uh, just contact them, Dan, and they will fix you up. Thank you so much for watching our show. All right. We got some more stuff over there, Cindy. Uh, we've still got seven demon dragons. You want to put Let's give away away another demon dragon package. This is for a package of demon dragons and a package of sinkers. But bear in mind, they are on their way. They've been shipped to me. Since I didn't get them while we was at Fishing for Freedom Quincy. And when they get here, we will send them out. So, Doc, who is the winner this time? Junior Proctor, Blue Dog Fishing. Congratulations, Junior. Junior's another YouTube-affiliated guy that does some great videos. He watches our show very frequently. And, Junior, just send me your information, either uh, to Facebook or, or email to us at epicsweeklytv at gmail.com. Congratulations, Junior, for your win of the, of the Demon Dragons uh, and the Sinkers. My gosh, I got 27 messages on the Facebook since we started this show. Mm -hmm. I'll be busy tonight once I get the show later today. We have another package of Lure Locker, four, and another red. Doc, have you used these? What? Not the red one. I don't know. Mainly, I've got yellow and orange. Did you see the size of these? Yeah, I know. They're big. They are huge. That you can fit. What? Set it up. What? I was gonna stick the ink pen in. Oh, and it, see how deep it is. They, oh, they're very deep, and, and that ink pen will flow in there. I mean, there's 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 room for anything, and hell, you can load up your hook, Doc. Put the bait on it, stick it in there. Yeah. If you, I mean, these these are great products for the really large Demon Dragon and and the other brands that, that are out. Some of those they just come out with that 4.0 that's lighted and it's a little bigger than the other ones and, and these are plenty big for that uh really a great product and what i like to do with these also is double hook rigs yeah. they're big enough it keeps them from getting uh, tangled up and you can separate them out and they work really really good <laughs> roger demand says yeah you can just throw them in the cooler once you get the bait on that's a great idea roger uh, no, Sean, I do not. I do, my understanding, it is a bass only fishing for freedom type tournament there, but I do not have the information on that. Doc, the winner is. And the winner is Cassie Sosa Johns. S O S A J O N J O H N S. Congratulations. Message us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com or on our Facebook page. You probably ought to put a thing of tape on there or something or write on there who the winner is. I know you got it. I got it. I got it. That's I got my it. My favorite got word. It. Hey, Doc. Yeah. We got an offshore tackle hat. Offshore tackle is a great product. They've been sponsoring you and I for a long time. They've yep. got some of the greatest planer boards that you could ever possibly use. I use mine when the water warms up to around 45 or 50 degrees. When we go to the lake, we've got them babies in the water. Yep. And here is a hat that we're going to give away. And the winner is Michael Pence. Michael Pence, congratulations. If you haven't figured out how to do it, yeah, Brian says, don't worry, Cindy's got this. <laughs> Contact us through our email at G, uh, catfishweeklytv at gmail.com or message us on our Facebook page, Catfish Weekly, and we'll get your hat shipped out. Now, Doc, 
thinking of offshore tech. Look what I have right here. So the SST Pro Mag planers, right and left. This is system. This are is a set, but they're both right sides. Uh, I don't know why that is like that, but we're going to send a set of these out to one lucky winner. These planer boards I have used from everywhere on the Lake of the Ozarks in zero current to the Mississippi River in smoking seven and eight mile an hour. Yeah. Hold up a huge piece of skipjack and 16 ounces of weight. They work extremely well. They got some of the best clips on them. These are folded down. They stand up and they're adjustable so you can adjust the tension on them you want. They have clips on the rear with a pin so you can either put them behind the pin or in front of the pin. I take the clips off and use a snap on the back of them. That way it releases from the front and floats back to the fish when I catch them, especially if I'm in heavy current. Yeah. But yeah, because you don't want to be fighting the board and the fish. No, and if you're in heavy current, you sure don't want to do that. And these are outstanding planer boards for one of the great sponsors we have here at Catfish Weekly. They support you and I both, Doc. And let's see who the winner is going to be. And the winner is Joey Kirby. Joey Kirby. My man, Joey, from Owensville, Kentucky. Owensboro, Kentucky. Joey, I'll either bring these to you, or if you want them faster than that, just send me your shipping address. I know you know how to get a hold of me, and we will make it happen. Congratulations on a couple of great winter boards. You're going to love them. Uh, I'm glad that you want them. You're a great friend to Doc and Cindy and I. We appreciate everything you do, your live feeds and stuff. And you always help Aaron Wheatley out down at uh, Monsters on the Ohio. I know he appreciates that. And I got to watch you play cards while we were doing the live show down there last year at Bass and Moore. So I know you know how to do that, too. Congratulations, Joey. I had an absolute blast with him and Stacy on the okay. Lake. I can't imagine that not being a hoot, man. Stacy Gassy, Stacy Gaston, and Joey Kirby and Doc Lang in a boat. I'd just like to have been the video guy to watch you guys. Yeah, he was sitting up. He was sitting on the front of Joe of uh, Stacy's boat. He about half asleep and uh, had the pole, so it was hitting his knee. And I reached over with the net, grabbed the line, and yanked it about three times, buddy. He come up off the front of there. He thought he had a big one on, and I'm sitting there snapping on the line. Oh, and we're all God. laughing at him. Hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, I would have loved to see some of that action. That would have been a blast. What else we got? Demon dragons. Demon dragons. We're going to give. We're going to give. Pardon me, folks. We're going to give away a package of demon dragons, and some and some sinkers from Nate and Mallory Davis with Tackle Bandit. Thank you guys so much for all the stuff that you do for us and the sport of catfishing. I know you support a lot of other people. And we appreciate everything you do. Doc, Nate and Mallory drove all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, True. Quincy, Illinois. Um, I got to be with them a couple times and visit with them. I was hoping Nate would come over and sit down uh, and do an interview with us down there. But like we was, he was really, really busy. Uh, and Mallory... Just the sweetest thing you ever want to meet. And they drove all the way up there. They brought the products we used to give away on the show. And, and we talked about it inside the building. We was going to get together later. And he got busy and I got busy. And we didn't get uh, together to get those. But he has already sent those to me. And they will be here in a day or two or three whenever they get here. And at that time, we will ship these products out. Great folks, man, they do some wonderful stuff for the catfish industry, and we really appreciate what they're doing for Catfish Weekly's Father Day, Father's Day. So, so if you will give me a winner, we're going to give some more of them away. Chanel Klein, K-L-I-N-E. 
Can you give me the first spelling on the first name? Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. Uh, S H A N N E L L E K L I N E Chanel Klein. Congratulations, Chanel. Message us on our uh, Facebook page or email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. What do you say we give away another offshore tackle hat? Have to have one right here. And the winner is Mindy Go Go Heel. Go. That's Mindy from. Mindy from Fishing from Freedom. I know yeah. Mindy. She is the winner. Mindy is such a fine young lady. We had the pleasure of having her uh, out in the boat last year, as you know, Doc. She is just a super lady. She worked so hard to make that event what it is, along with Randall Ridgenbacher and. Uh, Jim Rule and my God, I can't go through all the names of the people that make that program what it is, but there's a bunch of them. They all work for free. They work year round doing that. I mean, it's not a full time job, but you would think it was, is the way they go at it. Just a super bunch of folks put on a great show. And Mindy, I just think so much of her. Um, it is unbelievable. We had the pleasure of having dinner Friday night with her and her husband and her daughter, and it was an absolute blast. So, Mindy, congratulations. All right. Let's see. Let's give some more demon dragons away. Maybe one of the last. Awesome. Know. Offshore tackle? Yep. Offshore what? Offshore tackle hat. Okay. And we're going to give you a package of Demon Dragon Joy Belt and some sinkers. Who is the winner? Mike Sampson. Mike Sampson, longtime viewer of our show, sends us lots of messages, shares our post every week. I wish more people would do that. It really helps us get the word out about what we're doing. And by the way, you can share this video, like it. We appreciate all that. It really helps us get our name out on top of some of the YouTube pages and Facebook stuff. And we appreciate all that stuff you guys do. Mike Sampson, you are the winner of a Demon Dragon package. And we will ship that out to you just as soon as it comes in. Be sure to send me your shipping address. And we will get, it hooked, get you hooked up with them. Congratulations. Mike also had some hats made for us that we give away on our show some time ago, Doc. Yeah, he sent us hats. Yeah, Catfish we really, Weekly hats. We really appreciated that. It was awesome. Northeast Kansas fishermen, hang on. We got more demon dragons to give away. Don't go far. Oh, ah, time to spin the wheel. Doc, pick me out a number. Uh, three. One. Two, three. The winner is Matthew Schott, S C H O T T. Matthew lives over in Illinois, I believe. Uh, lives over there by. Uh, uh, huh? Who's over by Alex Nagy? They're, they're good friends. Met him a couple of times. Really nice young man. Holy crap, minute chat's flying by. Appreciate the thumbs up. 93 right now. Good deal. Mud Bum Supply Shack. Matthew, if you contact the great folks at Mudbum Supply Shack, tell them you're a winner. I will also message them and tell them that you won on tonight's show. We appreciate everything they do for us. You're going to love a gift certificate from their store. Uh, thank you so much for watching Catfish Weekly and playing the Rig Rat Prize Rail game. And guys, Mudbum Supply Shack, if you need anything, go check out their Mudbum Supply Shack online store. You're going to love it. They got some great products and wonderful prices. 
like I say, they rent you stuff. If you don't have it, you're going to be in their area. They will rent it to you. Never heard of anything like that. It's a great idea. Uh, how many demon dragons you got left? Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's do another one. And the winner is? Northeast Kansas Fisherman. Northeast Kansas Fisherman, if I remember correctly, just a few minutes ago, he was thinking he needed to win some. If, I, if that is correct, you have now won a package. So be sure to send us your shipping information to our Facebook page or email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Doc, yep. this rack always comes out with some really cool stuff. And this rig rack comes with one, two, three, four, five, six yellows, one, two, three oranges. It comes in a in a case that you can suction cup and stick to the dash of your boat or anything else. Okay. It also comes with a strap, so you can strap it around if you have the the uh, roll bars instead yeah. of out rod holders and stuff on it. All this comes in this package. It's a great product. What did you want to say, Ben? Hold on, I got to the thing. James Dockery stuck them to his windows at his house. Why James Dockery, <laughs> if you missed it, both had these with the suction cups and had them stuck on his wife's patio door. And if you did miss it, check him out. You can see those pictures that he posts on there. Now, I'm telling you, after meeting James and Katie, um, I can imagine what he does to aggravate her. I don't know how she stays sane, so why don't she don't take a ball back to him? But they are a great couple. We had such a great time with those. This is a wonderful product. I don't know where Dwayne comes up with these outstanding ideas, but I have used this in a multiple of ways. I had a pack of these uh, last fall in our boat, mounted on the dash right up there uh, beside my um, depth finder. It ain't that funny. It really ain't. <laughs> <laughs> they rode around to four or five tournaments from Memphis to Winter Blues on Wheeler. They stayed there the whole time, never come undone, and they never got blown off the dash. All of the things in there, all I do would be go in the house and grab the ones that I use and switch them out. It's a great product. Somebody is going to be thrilled to win this. So, Doc, who is that? Mike Crow. Mike Crow. Congratulations, Mike. It's a great product. Got three oranges, six yellows, the case, the suction cups, and the straps where you can strap it down. It's gonna be you're gonna love it. Contact us on our Facebook page. Tell us your shipping address or email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Uh, one, two, three more demons. Let's do another demon dragon. Okay. Now remember, this is a package of Demon Dragons and a package of weights from Nate and Mallory Davis at TackleBandit.com. Uh, PD Fishing just put in Lyle. Tell everyone if we get 110 thumbs up, you can spin it and send a handmade wood fish. Wow. Wow. Folks, if you haven't seen those, we've showed one many times on our show. And right now, it is 103. So we made the 100. Doc, go ahead and pick us out a name. Okay. I got to load this thing back up because more people have come in. The uh, winner is Catfish Bill 66. All right. Catfish Bill 66, 
another great guy that does a lot of YouTube stuff. Bill, you can contact PD. I'm sure you have his information. You guys do some projects together. And I know you've seen these carvings and you know how great they are. So thank you so much, Bill, for being in chat, watching the show. PD, thank you so much for making these things, these carvings and giving them to our viewers. It means the world to Doc and Cindy and I. We appreciate you helping us out. And I know Bill will enjoy his product so much. Uh, what do you say we give away another Demon Dragon package, Doc? All right. The winner is Trey Stroop. S-T-R-O-U-P. Trey has been a winner on our show before, but it has been a while. So Trey, contact us after the show. As I say, these are on our way to us. I neglected to get them picked up for fishing from Freedom, and I will get them shipped out to you. We just need your shipping address, either through Facebook or catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the show. Nate and Mallory, thank you so much for everything you do for us. We've only got two Demon Dragon packages left. Let me make sure that I've got everything. It seems like I'm missing something. I know we've got one more over here to do. But I had everything laid out in order. This will be the last one we do tonight. I'll hide it down here by my feet. Let's go ahead and do another Demon Dragon package, Doc. Okay, and the winner is Maurice Kaysen. Congratulations, Maurice. You are the winner of the ninth Demon Dragon package. Again, Mallory and Nate, thank you so much. If you guys need any products, please check out TackleBandit.com. These guys are really doing a great job for the sport of fishing. We appreciate it. I have one that I have forgotten about. Uh, it's got a message, and we will stop that. Uh... We will stop that. Thank you for that, Glenn. Um, those are. Hang on just a minute, folks. No. Yes. But nothing. working on something. And we're at 112 likes, so. That's awesome. Thumbs up. So what, are we going to give that away in chat or? This we are. We have a tackle, <laughs> I'm getting your problem. A tackle bundle pack that we're going to give away from Dale Dunaway and Dale's Tackle. Now, folks, you will contact Dale, and he will ship this to you. He sent me this message the other day. And this will be a multitude of stuff that he is giving out. And Dale has everything in his online store. And if you need any products, you can contact Dale. And check him out, dalestackle.com. He's got a great product, a lot of great products, and he sells some of the coolest stuff that you ever want to see. So who is our winner, Doc? Give me a second. Okay. And winner is Joe Hard 3. Number three, looks like it's at the end. Joe, hard three. Okay. Um, Joe, you will have to include all that information along with your shipping address and your name. Uh, either contact us through our Facebook page and messages or 
email us at catfishweeklytv at gmail.com. We, um, um, most people use your name, so when you throw one in on, on us like that, it kind of throws me out of whack. So uh, be sure to uh, include your name and, and, and your screen name also so we can uh, make sure we get this to the right product. Joe Hardy, thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. And we will, Dale will hook you up. Dale's got some great stuff. If you guys need to check him, haven't checked out DaleTackle.com, be sure to do so. He's got everything. He's got hooks and sinkers guaranteed to sink. He's got line. He's got it all. Man, and a great guy, too. Oh, there it is. This is our last yes. giveaway for the month. Doc, Glenn always steps up to help us. And a value pack from RigRap. We were saving it for the last. Um, tangle free, more fishing, less rigging. Saves time and money. Great for saltwater rigging. I'm trying to make sure that I get everything that's in there. It comes with eight yellows, four oranges, two reds, one lure locker four, and a rig rack, which is what we give away a while ago with the orange and uh, yellows and a blue case, all inclusive in this little box. Now, just so you know, I want to go back and make sure. This is a $24.99 value that we're going to give you. But don't forget, if you had if you didn't win on tonight's show and you need a Father's Day present, go to rigrap.com and you can buy this for $19.99 on sale. Uh, Doc Glenn is such a good sponsor to us. Yes, he is. Thing, but he think he's thinking ahead for the fishermen. He's thinking ahead for people that needs to buy fishermen gifts for Father's Day, whether it be Father's Day or Christmas or whatever. He's always got something on sale. And if you order one of these, if you don't order one of these, order up a Rig Pack 60. There's nobody that ain't going to like one of those. Okay. They're, they're still trying to give your boat away. Um, the boat is not for giveaway. <laughs> the message our, our, our angler we took out over the weekend we had a great time in that boat. It is so awesome. We had a blast in that. Um, we really did. Uh, the boat is rides so well and it runs so good. I love that boat. Uh, and Amy Williams, you can't own it. It is a deal to be had on that boat because we're about ready to pick up our new one so we can get a wrap on it. Um, it's the wrap is going to be extra nice this year. Doc, who's our winner for our value pack? And the winner is Amy Williams. Amy Williams. How many times does that happen? Amy, if you will just send me your information either through Facebook or through catfishweekly.com or at gmail.com, we will hook you up with that. And you will love that rig pack. It is a very value pack. It's a very good product, and I know you'll enjoy it very, very much. Time to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. 9.30. 8.30 your time. I want to let everybody know that we're working on a guest for next week's show, but we will also have a youth on our show with us next week, and it's Grayson Melhorn, Dieter's son, who does a lot of fishing and hunting and a whole bunch of other stuff. Be sure to tune in for that. I'll let you know a little more on the, uh, the guest at a later time. And she has already stepped out. She's not writing the stuff. So I guess I'll spin myself now. And I'm going to pick out a winner. And it'll be the number one guy. K-Bug Clark. Haven't seen much of K-Bug lately. She must be busy at school. I won't spin as hard as Cindy does. Well, maybe I need to tighten that up a little bit. Dale wants you to give away a 
another tackle package from Dale's Tackle. Whisper Sticks LED Lights. Hey, bud, contact the good folks at Whisper Sticks LED Lights. Lena and Tim and all the good folks over there will hook you up with a great product from their selection of products. Thanks so much to Whisper Sticks. We've been having them on the spot on our wheel ever since the beginning. Great bunch of folks at KBug. Glad to see you in, in uh, on the wheel list tonight. And Dale would like to give away what, Doc? Give away one more tackle package from Dale's Tackle. Wow. Happy, happy early Father's Day, fellas. That's awesome. Give me just one second. I got to load this back up anyway. All right, Dale's Tackle wants to give you another pa another uh, package from his store. Happy Father's Day, everybody. That's a great deal, Dale. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. We appreciate it so much. And like I say, for you guys that haven't checked out Dale's Tackle, jump on over to his online store. He's got it all. Uh, he's got Slime Line and, and um, um, he's got... I think Rampage Braid. Yeah. And uh, he's got sinkers of all shapes, kinds. Guaranteed to sink. That's exactly right. Um, he's got hooker, terminal tackle hooks. Um, he's got the brush grippers. And if you don't have a set of those, believe me, you should buy a set. They are awesome products. Thank you, Bottom Feeders Fishing. Happy Father's Day to you guys. I'll be talking to you. Message me tomorrow, buddy. We'll, we'll get things worked out. Yes, Hillbilly Jim Catfishing. We would like to thank all the sponsors tonight. They, they're so great to donate these products. I will tell you a little secret that we've been kind of keeping back. We haven't really told anybody about. Doc, whenever you're ready. You ready for the winner? Yes, please pick out the winner. Okay, and the winner is Roger DeMint, Jr. Congratulations, Roger. Contact Dale Sackle and he will fix you up. Dale, thank you so much again. We appreciate everything you do. June 24th, Doc, is our fifth year of catfish anniversary. Wow. Um, five years is a long time. We're going to do some special stuff on that show, too, so you guys want to make sure that you are tuned in for that. Um, I do know that uh, Cabela's King Cat will be, are supposed to be, uh, the 15th at Carlisle Lake in Illinois. Uh, the Twisted Cat Outdoor Tournament, uh, the Jack and Jill Tournament is supposed to be the 16th. I cannot imagine uh, that going on with the river like it is. Uh, and there's supposed to be a Twisted Cat Outdoor uh, Tournament the 29th in St. Louis. And again, um, stay tuned for that. You guys that are having to cancel tournaments, feel free to use the Catfish public, Weekly public page to make announcements. If you are having tournaments, be sure to uh, inform our guys about that. And remember that we're happy to announce the winners of your tournaments. Our and, daughter uh, will be 40 that day. Our daughter will be 40 that day. That's hard to believe. But we can't search the internet to find tournaments and results. But if you will send them to us, we're more than happy to announce them for you, to get the word out for you as much as we can. Uh, we don't mind doing it. In fact, we enjoy doing it, uh, especially on tournaments that Doc and I are at. But we cannot uh, search all over for them. So if you want us to announce them, we'll be happy to do so. All you, Doc, to do is send them to us, and we'll, we'll tell everybody about it. I know one thing we need to do tonight, Doc. What's that? Tip of the week. Tip of the week. Oh, man. Um, huh. I forgot to grab my stuff. Uh, okay, I use paracord a lot on the boat, and um, I don't have it with me. I meant to grab it, but, you know, I, I use it for a lot of stuff, and uh, one of the things I use it for is to actually to hook my drift socks on, too. 
So, I mean, you can take that paracord and make it, you know, two foot long length, tie a knot in it, burn off the ends, wrap that on a rail on a boat and it will not break. You can put that drift stock on it. What's nice about it is you can, like on my Sea Arc, I've got rails all up and down the side of the boat. And all I got to do is sit there and move that. Uh, yeah, just lost my train of thought. <laughs> drift sock. No, not the, well, yeah, I can move the, the drift sock, but uh, the paracord, I can move the paracord. So I'm using 550 paracord, and most of the time I'm using something that's highly colored so I can see where it's at. That's right. And that's Doc's tip for the night. It's a great tip. Paracord has so many useful things. We use it for a lot of stuff. There's fishing rod grips and, and many other things on the boat, and that is a great tip. Thank you again for another outstanding tip. I want to thank everybody for being on our show tonight. Hey, uh, did we give away the PD fishing thing? Yes. Okay. Yes, Catfish Bill 66 won. Okay. Uh, want to thank everybody for watching. It was a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget, the end of this month, we'll be doing our fifth anniversary show. Never thought we'd go that long, Doc. I couldn't do it without you. We've had some great hosts throughout the year, years with you and and Chuck and Chris and Paul, uh, which started Catfish Weekly, and it's been a heck of a ride. We hope we got yes, I have. Hopefully, we have many, many more years. That's right. I don't see no end in sight, and uh, it, it's plain to me uh, that there's a lot of people that enjoy what we do from the handshaking and the hugs that we get when we go to fishing for freedom and other events like that. And it means the world to all of us when you guys do that. Uh, it lets us know that we're doing it. But we're working on the youth stuff. We've got some more of that come up. Finally found a couple of young ladies that we're going to have on that for that doc. So that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, whoa, wait a minute. Two more thumbs up and I'll send a four pack of drifting weights. So we're at 118 right now. Okay. We need uh, four more thumbs up and PD Fishing will send out a four pack of drifting weights. If we get those, we're going to have to make it quick because it's been a long show, Doc. Yeah, been a long day. Yes, I mean, been. I love being out on water today, but it got kind of it got warm out there. Yeah, oh, look at there, 121. There we go. There we go, Doc. All You're right, ready. and let me reload this thing. Boom! Here we go. And the winner is Brian McCoy. M C C O Y Brian McCoy. And he'll get with uh, PD Catfishing. That is correct. Contact PD Catfishing. Um, or uh, if you can't get a hold of him, the best way to do it is be, he doesn't do Facebook. So, um, PD, why don't you send Brian a message or send it to me and I'll get him hooked up. Uh, we'll make it happen so everybody gets coordinated with that. And Petey does do the Facebook thing. And I believe me, I understand that. <laughs> he oh, says, can't you see, oh, can't you see what your fishing show is doing to me? I understand. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> um, there is Petey's email address. He just posted it. So you can copy that and email him direct. Thank you guys for everything you've done tonight. Thank you, Dale. Thank you to all our sponsors. Glenn at Rig Wrap, you're the best. Can't wait to see you guys soon. See you next Thanks time. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. You guys are the ones that make this show happen without your uh, coming and watching the show every night and on Mondays and, you know, keeping us busy and keeping us in check on when we're supposed to spin the wheel. Yep. So we appreciate it. We do. We'll, I'll see you Friday if everything goes right, and we'll sure enough be here Monday night on Catfish Week.